Welcome guys, this is Technology Made Basic, I'm making a video today on the page file. Uh, basically what the page file is, is when the system runs low on RAM, uh, Windows moves the least used pages of that specific program or multiple programs that you're running to a hidden file named pagefile.sys in order to free up some of the RAM on your computer. Uh, in order to change that, we're going to go ahead and click on the start button, go to where it says computer, do a right click, go to properties, and an alternate way to bring this up is uh, just go into the start control panel navigating to system and security clicking on system and once we're here uh, we want to click on the advanced system settings and under the uh, system properties under the advanced tab we want where it says performance we want to go ahead and click on the settings and under the performance options we want to click on the advanced tab as you can see here it says virtual memory it says a paging file is an area on the hard disk that Windows uses as if it were RAM uh, but it's going to be slower than RAM so some people say it's better to just go ahead and disable it uh, the only problem I see with disabling the paging file is if you have like a low amount of RAM say two or four gigs and uh, you're running multiple applications and you're forcing your system to only use the RAM um, if you max it out it could create a really unstable system or even crash your system. So if you say if you're working on something important and your system crashes, well, you lose all your data. Uh, by default, it's automatically uh, your system automatically manages your paging file for all the drives. But what we want to do right now is we want to be able to change it. On this system right here, it, I'm running eight gigabytes of RAM. Uh, oftentimes, I'll max out the eight gigabytes, and uh, it'll take it up to about nine nine gigabytes. Um, so what I want to do is at least uh, set the uh, initial file, the initial paging file. A rule of thumb is uh, one way you can check is by going, hitting control alt delete, going to your uh, task manager, and under the task manager where it says performance, you can see your memory usage here. Right now it's really low. It's only running at about 1.5 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, but if you're really peaking out your system with multiple programs, um, this can really jump up really high, and oftentimes uh, can go even to 10 gigabytes and uh, if it goes up to 10 gigabytes and you want to set your initial size at least 2 gigabytes more than what you have on your system which will give you the 10 so make it 10,000 megabytes which will give us 10 gigs and uh, you want to um, if I added 2 gigabytes of RAM on top of my physical RAM you want to double that for the maximum so um, that's gonna be for an extra four gigabytes of RAM so that's going to give me 12,000 so I set the initial size to uh, 10,000 and the maximum size to 12,000 so uh, basically what it's saying is I have eight gigabytes of physical RAM but if I'm ever maxing that out it's gonna take the least used page of that application and set it uh, to that extra four gigs of RAM that I have allocated on my hard drive and the only thing I have to do is click set it's going to ask me to reboot after I do that. But here's where I say no paging file. If I click on that, I'm forcing my system to only use the 8 gigabytes of RAM, which, yes, it's going to be faster because I'm only using RAM and I'm not uh, going to the hard drive and using the hard drive as RAM. But like I said, that could cause, if you max it out, they could cause a unstable system. It could crash it. Um, but once I hit set here, hit OK. It's going to say you have to restart your computer before it takes effects. So hit OK, hit the Apply button, and once you, re you restart your computer, then uh, your paging file is going to be changed. Uh, so basically what we, what we did is we took, we have 8 gigabytes of physical RAM, and we allocated an additional 4 gigabytes of RAM on the hard drive for the computer to put basically parts of the programs that I'm not using or haven't touched in a while, say if I have multiple programs open. Um, that's just going to ensure that I have you know good strong stability in my system um, like I said you can disable it if you have usually eight or even more gigs of RAM uh, disabling it may not be a problem may not be an issue because uh, there's times where I reach nowhere near eight gigabytes of RAM but like I said if you go to your start man our task manager you can see under the uh, memory usage how much uh, RAM you're actually using uh, so right, right now at this moment it's not using much at all because uh, I'm not really doing uh, much with different programs 
So we'll go ahead and close that. Uh, but there's one also very important thing to note on the paging file is that it does store temporary uh, files and oftentimes it'll store passwords in that paging file. And just as an added security uh, precaution, what we want to do is we want to make sure to clear that paging file. Uh, because when it stores the passwords and other stuff under that paging file, it stores it unencrypted. And uh, if somebody really wanted to get to it, they could. So what we're going to do is open up uh, regedit by just clicking the start button, typing in regedit under the search. And we're going to run it as an administrator. Okay, yes. And here, um, we're going to change something in our registry to a different value. Uh, but before you do this, uh, it's highly recommended that you create a restore point. Uh, you can refer back to my uh, creating restore points video uh, just in case you did something wrong and then your system doesn't boot. So definitely create a restore point. Uh, that way you can go back to it and do on any uh, changes that that basically you know mess your system up. So what we're going to do is navigate to uh, where it says H key local machine and then we're going to go to system and then click on current control set and then click on control and then from there we're going to go to session manager and then from session, session manager we want to click on memory management and what we want to change is where it says clear page file at shutdown we want to do a right click on that and hit modify and where it says value data you want to change that from 0 to the number 1 hit OK close it that way every time your computer shuts down and any of the uh, unencrypted data that it's stored in that page file it's going to clear it out and that's just an extra step you can do or not do it's up to you just for extra security uh, so basically what we went over is how to uh, enable, disable the paging file, why you should or maybe shouldn't, uh, how to change the size of the paging file and how much to add, and um, you know basically what it is and how it's used in our system. So hope you found this information helpful, and that concludes this video.